Hello and a warm welcome to this course on Azure Log Analytics. Azure Log Analytics as a service is popularly known is currently being rebranded as Azure Monitor Logs. Some of you might even know the service as OMS or Operations Management Suite. Irrespective of these branding changes over the years, the core of the Log Analytics service remains the same. Going forward, I will continue to refer to the service as Log Analytics to avoid confusion. Why do we need Log Analytics? Monitoring its infrastructure resources is every organization's need. Every server, device, and application generates tons of logs every day. So much so that it is not possible to sift through them manually. It is truly the age of data. Azure Log Analytics helps you store, index, query, and derive insights from this data collected from various data sources with ease using a simple query language known as Custo Query Language or KQL. With Log Analytics, you can find errors and issues in your applications by using queries and alert the stakeholders before it leads to bigger issues. Who doesn't like dashboards and reports? You can create beautiful and insightful dashboards and reports using Log Analytics services about issues in applications, your Azure usage, or infrastructure utilization, etc. With the built-in integration with alerts and automation, you are able to come up with automated remediation for many issues and save time and effort for yourself, your team, or your company. Log Analytics Service aggregates data from various data sources and solutions and turns them into records and stores it in a central storage called the Log Analytics Workspace. Data that reaches the workspace is indexed and is available for running queries and deriving insights from it. You can then use these results to alert on specific conditions, create dashboards or export to external services. The Log Analytics service uses agents to collect data from VMs and physical machines. These VMs and machines can be located anywhere. It could be in Azure or your private data center, or it could be in another cloud like AWS or Google Cloud. It also collects data from various Azure resources like Azure Storage or Web Apps. Data collected from these sources are turned into records and stored inside various tables, as seen in the examples here. In the upcoming sections, we will explore how we can connect these various services and collect data from them. We will also learn how to query this data using KQL. On top of all this, we will also look at various log analytics solutions that gives us insights from the collected data. So sit tight while we begin this journey.